Welcome to the dialogue, everybody. Say hello, Cal. Hello, Cal. Thank you for joining us. I don't know if anyone's actually in there listening, but uh, we are live here on X, formerly Twitter. Thank you for joining us. We're also live. We're, I'm doing a little preview um, through some engineering miracle. I'm doing a spaces session on my own feed at for the Queen BVM. Uh, I'm not going to stay doing that. I'm just doing a little preview for the folks. If you are listening to this at for the Queen BVM on my personal feed, this would be a good time to follow the Dialogue FM on X because this is where we're going to be doing our live broadcast. And I am the Catholic adventurer at for the Queen BVM. You are so very lucky. Introduce yourself, Cal Kane. Great to be here. Fantastic intro. Let's uh, Thank let's you. do this. Thank you very yeah. much. Today, My man's been practicing clearly, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, that was that was without practicing. How do you like that, huh? It's no talent. Pure, I am pure, pure talent. Absolutely. I am the hardest working man in podcasting. And thank you again very much for joining us here at the Dialogue FM on X. Today, we're going to be talking about cultural rot. We're going to be giving our comments and feedback on... A uh, a segment by Bill Maher on his show, the New Rules segment, The Lone Danger, he called it. And we, we sort of get a cultural rot vibe off of it. Thank you, Mr. DJ. You can kill that music now. We sort of get a cultural rot vibe out of it. And Cal and I thought this would be interesting to talk about. Indeed we did. Indeed we did. Yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh... Yeah, um, it's been a while since I've actually heard much of Bill Maher. To be honest, I haven't really been engaging with that type of well, uh, that type of material for a while. So it was it was interesting. Yeah, just to kind of like catch up on uh, that. But he made some he made some he made some very very good points, which were uh, yeah, which were which we're going to get into. I'm very very excited yeah. about it. Same here. You, you know, it's funny. I, I hadn't been listening to him or watching him for a while either. Like you, I've been kind of out of the news uh, drama. Yeah. and all that stuff. Um, just Ever since want... COVID, I just had to give it a break. I was yeah. just obsessed with it over yeah. that over that whole three year period. It was just every day it was on, and I'm like, nope, not anymore. I need a I need a break. Yeah, for me, it was even before COVID. I was just so sick of it, so over it. Um, yeah. And uh, but I'll tell you, you know, it's so weird because Bill Maher was like the most flaming liberal thing ever for a long time, and he still yeah. is. This is what's so interesting. Now, listening to him, he sounds like a conservative, not like a conservative, but he sounds conservative. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good way of putting it. Yeah, he sounds a little bit more conservative, but he's still, he's yeah. definitely a liberal. Yeah, he's still like, himself. Like for sure, yeah. He's, a, he's, an, he's an interesting fellow. He's, he's, He's he's definitely hit or miss for me just for the reasons that you just said. You yeah. know, like he's gotten a little bit more conservative in his approach, which is cool. But yeah, yeah there's also some other things that are pretty wackadoo. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, but um, it's very interesting to listen to him. You know, it's very interesting, especially now. You know, he hasn't changed a lick, really, but everybody else has. So now he's, he's yeah. kind of reacting, you know. Um, yeah. So... A little bit of soft business, folks. If you're not already doing so, you're going to hear me say this a lot. Please follow the dialogue on X. Actually, we're on the dialogue. We're on X. We're on Facebook and uh, Instagram, all in the same name, at the dialogue FM. Otherwise, you're going to miss this great stuff. Something that we've got coming down the pike. We're going to be doing. Do you remember this, Cal? The dialogue socials smackdown down down. Remember that. Social Smackdown, of yeah. course. How could I forget? Yeah, we're going to be doing a Social Smackdown. Um, so the Social Smackdown, folks, is basically Cal and I um, really, really debating it and it, debating a topic. It's and it, and it's not very structured. Okay, it's something we disagree strongly on, and we basically take to the microphones and go at it. That's done exclusively. Let let it let it rip. Yeah. Let it rip. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. We just we we just we just go at it. Yeah, because because if if me and this guy talk for long enough about a contentious issue, it takes about I would say thirty seven point five seconds before we're in some kind of flaming disagreement. <laughs> it's it's and unbelievable. This genius over here thought, let's make a let's make a show out of that. So yeah, yeah now he's bringing it back. Yeah. So if you want to partake of the social smackdown, you got to be following us on Twitter, uh, slash X. And again, if you are listening to this on my personal feed at for the queen BVM, you're getting basically a mirrored broadcast on Twitter or X spaces. And I will not be maintaining it for this whole show. Come on over to the dialogue FM on X and catch the live broadcast. You're going to see the live broadcast in our feed. Go to our profile, look for our feed. You're going to see us live there because I'm not going to be maintaining this on, um, spaces okay 
So do you have anything to say, Cal, before we get into this, uh, Bill Maher? Uh, yeah, uh, let me just say, um, just great to be here with you all again. Uh, just going to plug my socials again. Oh, yes, uh, Real thank Cal you. I, for, I forgot Twitter. that. I'm slowly, slowly but surely getting a few new followers. People are starting to engage a little bit more. It's good. It's a lot of fun. Come come hang out. It's going to be good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Come come yeah. say hello. I'm a, I'm a nice guy, I promise. Yeah, and you, I'm not. I'm really, really not on team atheism. I don't want to be. If you if you've seen some firebrand atheist or something like that that you didn't like, that's not me. Complete opposite. My my, my friend here will tell you that. Yeah, Cal so, is Cal yeah. is the Protestant of the atheist world, and it's so strange. Atheism has changed so much over the. I mean, I've been debating atheists many many years, and yeah. they got so abrasive and like ugly and awful. About 15 years ago or so. I don't know when that really started. I, I, th I think there's a chance that maybe everything got abrasive and horrible 15 You're probably years right. ago. And that was just another thing. But, yeah. but, but ath atheists to a to a, 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 a massive degree. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah it's pretty it's pretty wicked. Um, and then now I'm, I'm starting to see there's basically Protestant atheists springing up. And, and Cal happens to be one of them. But Cal, you were the trailblazer. You were the first, I think. I'll, I'll take that as a yeah, compliment. Thank you very deaf. much. But there's, there's other good people around as well, much, oh, much sure. better than me. But I'll, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll take the compliment. I'm sure they just took a page out of your playbook. So we're going to get into this Bill Maher thing. This, So I have to put out a little bit of a warning, but we're all grown-ups, so I don't think it's very necessary. But first of all, this is going to be a, um, Bill Maher's um, segment from his show, Real Time with Bill Maher. It is copyright owned, I think, by HBO not by the dialogue or by fiat media. We do not own this. This is from HBO. That's number one. Number two, it's some. the content is somewhere in between rated PG-13 and rated R. It's somewhere in that's between That's a very that. good point. Yeah. That's a very good point. Sorry to interrupt you, Mitchell, okay. but that, 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 that's a very good point. It is kind of in the middle there. Yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, if you have delicate ears, you might want to be careful here. But, I mean, it's re it's really not it's really not bad, but, you know, it depends on your background and where you're from and how you talk, you know. But, um, and it's not just the words. Sometimes it's a little bit of the content is a is little, little bit beyond PG-13. So, fair warning. You ready to go, Cal? Ready to go. Okay, when Let's I go. get to something that I want to comment on, and we're, we're talking about cultural rot here, folks, in case you didn't catch the intro. We're talking about cultural rot, our views and opinions based on the content here from Bill Maher. Um, when I have something I want to comment on, I'm just going to stop and I'm going to let her rip. This, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to talk and then we can talk about it. When you have something yep. you want to comment on, Cal, tell me to stop. Ready? No problem at all. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Take it from the top. And finally, new rule. Now that I've heard author Michael Lewis say about his latest subject, crypto crasher Sam Bankman Freed, that if you gave Bankman Freed a choice of living in a $39 million penthouse in the Bahamas without the internet or the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn with the internet, there's no question in my mind he'd take the jail. <laughs> I say we finally start seriously looking at what phones are doing to people's brains. Wow. And, and not just I'm going to pause phones, this in a second. There has been a perfect storm of events in recent years that has led the Surgeon General of the United States to issue an advisory that America is suffering from a public health crisis of loneliness, isolation, and lack of connection. Okay. First, I wanted to talk about um, this phone situation. Uh, people are really addicted to these damn things. And yes, they are. I, I, think, uh, I, I think that does contribute to people's loneliness. In fact, I think there are, there are studies that have said so. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now we're... It's just interesting to me that after locking people away, okay, during COVID, now they're saying... How peculiar. People are lonely and isolated and disconnected, you know? Yeah, um, exactly. Even when things started to open up, and depending on where you lived, things didn't open up for a very long time. But even when they did, they opened up in phases, you know? Um, I mean, the loneliness and isolation that some people must have felt, many people, is just unbelievable. So here again, we have a situation where the government caused a problem 
And now it's identifying and saying, we, we really need to do something about it. And you can bet your ass, I'm sorry, you can bet your ass that whatever they do to try and address this problem, which they're definitely addressing a problem. This is why the Surgeon General is chiming in. Mm-hmm. They definitely have, have a, you know, some kind of a plan to address this problem, right? To look like yeah. the, the, the humanitarians. Whatever they do to address this problem, it's going to make the problem worse. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah, they, 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 they say it in a kind of um, who, who, who us, right? Like, 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 really? We, we, we had, we had, we had something to do with that. And if, and when they're not doing right. that, they do it in a kind of oh, well, that's incredibly surprising. I'm just bolstering what you said because you said yeah. it really well, so I don't need to add anything to it. But yeah, it is, it, it is, it is, it is beyond belief. But yeah, it's like it's a clown fiesta. It really is. It, re- it really, truly is. Um... And uh, the, the cell phone situation, just to kind of harp on that, um, do you see that where you're from? Is there a lot of people glued to their smartphone screens? Oh, I mean, I am. I, I, um, I, I take my I take my youngest son. He's coming up for three, and I take him to a little like play group type thing with like other like parents and kids his age, just so he can get like socialized and stuff like that. You know, oh, we were cool. having this conversation today, and we were all talking. There was a lot of people that are like child that work in child care there. There's mm-hmm. like there's a bunch of interesting people, and they were talking about how concerned they are with children having phones. That's the angle that I don't think gets talked about enough. People are on their phones too much. People are addicted, but it's not just adults. It's like really, really young children. Yeah. Children are either just being given their phone as a way to just kind of keep them quiet or the elderly grandparents don't actually know what a smartphone can do and they're just giving it to their right. eight-year-old grandchild and stuff. It doesn't have to be sinister. It doesn't have to be bad parenting, but phones are ubiquitous at the moment. And um, yeah. the thought of um, the, the, the thought of like seven, eight-year-olds having unrestricted access to the internet is quite terrifying. It really it's is terrifying. terrifying I mean, I know we are very restrictive about devices in, in my family. Uh, so right. when we go for a drive somewhere, um, especially when they were younger, you know, I notice a lot of parents will just toss their kids, you know, uh, an iPad or something or a tablet. Oh yeah. Or they'll let them, uh, you know, if they have one of those cars that has screens on the back of the driver and passenger side. One so of the big they, people carriers with them built right into the seats. Yeah. I know the ones. Oh yeah. my God. Um, no, none of that. First of all, we don't have that, but we also didn't give them an iPad to just shut It'd them up. It'd be more subtle to have a cinema screen in the back seat, you know oh, what for I mean? Sure. Just plug, the, plug them straight for in. For sure. You know, but no, we, we communicate. We play games, we talk, yeah. we listen to music, um, or sit there and be quiet. You know, we're not going to enjoy silence. Yeah. Or enjoy each other. You know, Um, now the kids are getting a little bit older. Um, They only have devices out of necessity. Okay. Out of here. Yeah. Only out of necessity. And believe me, I watch them like a hawk, you know, because I don't want them habituated to the screen. So I watch Mm -hmm. them like a hawk um, and I I tell them you spend a lot of time on that today i feel like every time i see you you you, you're on that screen you know um, yeah you know so uh sorry i'm kind of doing three things at once so i'm very i'm very careful about that and if i have to i ban the screens for a day or for a week if I have to, yeah. and we're able to, you know, they don't need them, and, and, and so on. Yeah, I mean, the the the, the, the thing I want to highlight from what I said, I don't want to linger on this point too long, but yeah. the, but but the, I want to highlight the word unrestricted. Like access to the internet can be a beautiful thing. All the knowledge, all the wisdom, yeah. all the resources that you can get online. Like, and you know, like I'm I'm not I have I have three I have three children. Um, if I'm on a long bus journey or something like that, and I want to keep one of them quiet, yes, I will put something that I chose specifically and watched first that's safe in front of them so right. they can be entertained. Right. But th- so I, I don't want to come across like 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 some like some kind of parent and wizard floating above everyone else, judging everyone. Like I really don't want it to be like that. Right. But it is quite insidious how easy it is to just fall into the trap of just giving your kids a screen because it's kind of just what you have. Yeah, it's very you know, easy. You're just yeah. mimicking. Yeah, it's very easy and it's tempting. So what I'm going to do, folks, if you're catching us live, is uh, I'm going to roll the mat that I had for this video. And when I take this back to edit it, which is going to be so much fun, I'm going to put the video over the mat. So you're going to see a mat with a black box and nothing in it but our logo 
That's normal. Don't freak out. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the video. Matt Gates calls another day at work. <laughs> Can I just stop it there again? I knew we were just yeah. We only just started it. There's there's something I don't know if it's just on American television. I don't know if it's just certain podcasts or like so on. But there always seems to be one guy obnoxiously laughing louder than <laughs> everyone else on every comedy thing. That's it. <laughs> yes, like every single time. There, there's, this, there's this one podcast, and I can't remember the name of it, but there just seems to be one guy that's the token, like, just like, you know, the you've token got the token laugher? Scotsman in the action movie. Yeah. You've got the token guy that just finds everything the most funniest thing ever, and his ribs just explode out of his body. It's so, <laughs> so obnoxiously irritating because no one's that funny all the time, even if you're speaking to an actual world class comedian. They're not. Well, and you're we, funny. There's still people. You I'll know? tell you, I, I had never picked up on that before, but you're right. Now that you mention it, you're right. There's always if, that if, one if, guy. If, I don't know if it's easy for you to scroll back, but if you can go back 10 seconds and you'll, you'll, hear, the, you'll hear this moron. Yeah, let's go back. Okay, here we go. Oops. There we go. What Matt Gates calls another day at work. <laughs> He's, laugh he, he's, he's laughing in lower case. It's yeah. so bizarre. Yeah, just it's... a weird tone of voice. Like, and it just and but but all but all joking aside, like the, the if, if we're going to be talking about a kind of like rot type thing, it's a petty thing, but it's so irritating. Everything is just so dopamine. Yeah, they just it, it, it's it's like the, the only way they can actually capture an audience is by pretending that every single thing was funny. So any clip that gets taken is yeah. a guy absolutely just needing a change of undergarments you know after, yeah he's probably every sentence yeah, you know? he's probably one of the plants who is there to you know keep people clapping you know or yes or he's he came to the show drunk or he's just that really he's just really that stupid it's one, it's he's one of the of most annoying person on planet earth most definitely so there's another segment in this video, apparently, I, I guess I'll just play it, but apparently the UK now has a minister for loneliness and Japan appoints minister of loneliness. So you guys are getting this uh, coming down the pike in the UK. Let's go back to it. Minister for loneliness. Because the studies and the data from around the world show that the health consequences of so many people feeling so isolated are staggering. Skyrocketing rates of stroke, heart disease, premature death, it's just become too easy to isolate now. We've got our phones and our gadgets to distract from having an actual conversation. Amazon to deliver instead of going to a store. This is Love true. Hub instead of going to a restaurant. Movies streaming yes, on TV instead of going to a theater. And even when we do go out, the earbuds stay in. All right, I got to say, the earbuds staying in drives me crazy. Everywhere I go, everyone has, has AirPods or earbuds in. The checkout people, the people at the counter, um, it's its incredible. You can't unplug for a second. I also want to say I'm guilty of a lot of this. I do a lot of shopping on Amazon. Um, I don't do Grubhub. I think it's so stupid that you have to pay somebody to bring yeah. you your food personally. It, it, is, it is stupid. Um, but I can... I, I forget now the uh, what 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 he was listing, but I do a lot of this. The, you know, we stream movies instead of going, instead of going to the movies. I'm a big sure. movie fan, big movie buff, but my thing about going to the movies or going to a Target or whatever, here's the thing. It's not my fault that everyone is a pain in the ass. That's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> this, is me pre this is me preserving my sanity from everyone who's a pain in the ass. Okay, that's what this is. Because the checkout clerks treat you like they're doing you a favor for doing their job. Um, the people at the movie theater, zzz, movie theaters are irritating. They don't know how to conduct themselves. Um, and just people in general, they, they, they're just, they're just not service or, you know, the workers, they're not service oriented, you know, and it's just irritating to deal with them. I can't yeah, you, do you, it. You, you, you're not, you're not joking. It just, it reminds me of a story that my, that, that a, a very, very close friend of mine, Aiden told me. He, he he was living in a city in the UK called Manchester, which is smaller than London, but still, you know, still 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 sizable. And um, 
he was just reporting the same type of thing, especially through COVID. Like he said, well, he said one time he was standing in queue and everyone was kind of like wearing their masks and stuff like that. It was like really claustrophobic <laughs> and stuff. And some guy actually coughed on the back of his neck oh. when he was just standing there. And he'd already had a really rough day, and he just and he said and, and he said it sounds like a little thing, but it was just that constantly, just that what just everyone's rude, right. everyone's obnoxious type thing, you know. That's the like, thing. It's just, and it's not like you just go to the store and you, you you deal with one rude person, you know. You go to the store and it's several rude people. It's people who don't say thank you when you hold the door open for them. They they don't say hello when you say hello to them. Um, they don't say hello back. And then it's people at the next store, and then the next store, and then let's go to the movies. And then it's people at the movie theater. And it's like, oh, my God, all of you suck. All of you people suck. I can't take it. I would rather stay home and watch a movie. Let me let, let me let me ask you something. Is is this a, is this a side effect of isolation, of lockdowns, of COVID, of all that type of stuff? It got much people, worse. Or do, you, or do you think do you think this exacerbated already annoying people? Yeah, I think it's that second one. I think it exacerbated think something that was al- already there. Um, I think people. Right. I, I I I blame social media. Okay, because ever since well, yeah. I, do you remember MySpace back in the day? Oh yes, I, okay. yeah, I was on it back in the day. Yeah. So MySpace. Oh my goodness. So I remember back in the day with MySpace and texting was becoming ubiquitous as well. And I saw these. I was on the train. And a bunch of school kids came on. Now, they're like middle school, high school, probably either middle school or young high school age. And what age is middle school? Because we okay, don't... Okay, so like Scotland 12, can be 13, a little bit, 14. Right. Okay. J- just so I know. Cause yeah. j- just, just so I know. Because you can go to high school when you're 13 in Scotland. So just, gotcha. just for anyone across the pond or anywhere. Gotcha. Yeah, sure. So, so they were between, you know, 13 and 15, let's say. And a bunch of school kids, you know, these two boys are talking and come to the to a stop and the one boy gets off he's like okay i'll see you online and i thought to myself how stupid i'll see you online when i'll I, see you online when i was a kid we were hanging out you know now this was yeah. way back this was way back during you know aol instant messenger and msn and so microsoft used to have a messenger app also so, so it was, like 2006 i think like that type yeah of time. yeah something yeah. something thereabouts and myspace and i thought boy this is so stupid and so sad and I and ever since then I have seen people's humanity degrade, their social humanity yeah. degrade, and they don't know how to talk, they don't know how to emote, they're not, they don't have patience, they don't, um, they're not kind, they don't have manners. So, you know, I try to interact with people. I I'm a people person. I prefer to go to a store and help out. You know, mom and pop stores. Um, I prefer to do that. But not if you're going to charge me five dollars more for the same product. I'm sorry, I have oh, mouths to feed. I'm, uh, say, I'm sorry. Say it, say it, say it, say it loud for the people at the back. Yeah, times are tough. It's like yeah. it, it does come down to the money. I'm, I'm so glad you said it. Yeah, no, it's true. I mean, there are some things that I'll buy on Amazon. Like sometimes I'll buy groceries on Amazon because something is literally three dollars cheaper. You know, and for instance, if yeah. I if I buy bacon on sale. And sometimes it's like a really big sale. So bacon, yeah, like if like a good bacon, is like ten ninety nine. Okay, for I guess twelve to sixteen ounces. I, I forget how much weight it is. It's twelve ninety nine. Okay. When it's on sale, it's like six ninety nine. You know why that pisses me off? Because that means you can always sell it for six ninety nine and still make a profit. Because you show ain't giving it away. Okay, which yeah. means you double the price of that bacon when you put it on your shelf. How do you do that yeah. ethically? Look, it's it's um, it, it's an open and fair and free market. Okay, this is one of the drawbacks to it. But I'm sorry, doubling the price of something. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, everybody's got to make a profit. I'm a capitalist, but that's a little crazy. If you're putting it on sale for fifty percent off, you're definitely not losing money. Which means you can always charge fifty percent off of the of of your original price. You can always do that. Cut it. Cut the price in half and still profit. So uh, th- therefore, this, this, therefore, th- Amazon. No, th- th- this th- this this might be this might be slightly nitpicky, but that that I'm I'm not really a political guy, but that sounds more like corporatism. Corporatism. Yeah, me, that's a good way to put than it. Than anything yeah, else, and that's a good it, point. It, it kind of gets a little bit a little bit more into the because um, if you've just got a, a guy that's catching fish and then buying it for. You know, you don't have to worry about him monopolizing, so to speak, because right. he can't catch all of the fish can't catch in all the river. The fish. Right. So yeah, so you don't really have to. So you don't really have to worry about that so much. Yeah, but that may be slightly nitpicky to some people, but I think it's a worthwhile distinction. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I I, I totally agree with you. All right, let's get back to the video. 
We can't even do casual chit-chat anymore. Remember when you'd roll through the checkout line with a six-pack and a box of condoms? And... <laughs> I, I just, I just have to say, and I don't, I don't want to spend any, any amount of time on this unless you want to. But why is that so funny? Uh, I mean, I, 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 I are didn't, we children? I, didn't say, I, I, I was tempted to put my hand, to put my hand back up and go stop it there. Like I just, I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand where the joke is there at all. I, I don't. But there you go, cultural yeah. rot. Ho ho ho! He's talking about getting drunk and having sex. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. You know, got the one yeah, guy. Exa- laughing it, it, yeah, exactly. It's like uh, people were writing songs about that like a hundred years ago. Yeah, you know. Right. So he's basically saying that uh, now these in- these engagements don't happen, even at the checkout line. I, I gotta say, I love to- I love going through a checkout line and telling stupid, corny jokes and making pe- you know the checkout clerk laugh, even if it's a fake laugh and she's just being nice. Yeah. It's still I I like bringing little moments of levity and 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 happiness to you know to strangers. Um, I do, yeah. pr- again, I, pr- I prefer to be around people. I prefer to be in stores, but people are a pain in the ass. So oftentimes I don't. I'm going to fast forward a little bit unless you had something to say. No, no, cool. Let's, let's just roll it. Out with people we like for going on Facebook to get likes. Oh, this Has is anything a good point. ever out with people we like? Check out. <laughs> We've traded going out with people we like for going on Facebook to get likes. True that. Has anything do, ever right, been more right, disdained than so, social media? Sorry, it's do, done more to kill you, do, social sorry. than the pocket. Hang on a second, Cal. Damn thing. Okay, go ahead. Do you do you see what I mean about hit and miss with Bill Maher? It, yeah. it, it slightly reminds me of, uh, and th- this is not me throwing shade at anyone. This is just I, I listen to like a wide variety of different people, and it's just it's just an opinion. I'm not trying to start any beef, but it's a little bit like Ben Shapiro. Um, a little bit like Ben Shapiro, some some some, some type of hit and miss, like that, like that was oh, yeah. a really salient point that 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 Bill just made. What well, Bill? I don't know him personally, but <laughs> Bill Maher just made, you know. Um, and you know, but then there's a really corny joke. What? Yeah, twenty cor- seconds yeah. beforehand or something. Like it's just it's so it's so so hit and miss, and it's a little a little bit the same, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah. If I may be so bold, it's a little bit the same as um, you know how I feel from the guy sitting across from me sometimes as well. So take that for what, what are you what talking you, about? You I'm want. always a hit. You didn't get the memo? That's a hundred percent of the time. I'm always a hit. <laughs> I don't know. The, the record might the record might say otherwise, but I still love you. Well, thank you, pal. I wish I could say the same about you. Let's go back to it. Exactly. <laughs> Has anything ever been more misnamed than social media? It's done more to kill being social than the pocket protector. Yes. There's nothing so. Sorry. There's nothing social about social media. It should be called anti-social media, Correct. and then AI came along and made it even worse. Do you know a 19-year-old from Southampton, England, recently breached the walls of Windsor Castle in an attempt to assassinate the Queen because his AI chatbot girlfriend told him it would impress her? Yes, there's an Let AI me just jump Jody in there. Foster now. Yeah, I wanted to pause it there, too, because I know you're on a lot about this AI stuff, so I wanted to see what, yeah, what, what, what are your thoughts I, 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 on that one? The, there's a there's a much more salient AI point just um, a little bit a little a little bit further on. That sounds like a kind of like there's papers in in my, in, in my country called, uh, called just uh, News of the World and like the Daily Star and just kind of like really trashy magazines right. and newspapers that just don't really actually do news in any real sense. I've got a feeling that that story sounds like it might be from one of them. I didn't actually source it. I don't know where it's from. Hopefully it's not from like the Huffington Post or something, but. Um, yeah, again, not really a me- not really a media guy, but it sounds kind of like a, it, I don't know it 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 kind of it seemed like a weird a, a weird story to oh, bring you know up because it is? just sounds so obviously nonsense. Well, it it could be. It's from the New York Post, and New York Post is kind of hit or miss that way. I mean, they they're always I, I I don't know. I've never read it. It's um, yeah, it's not. Uh, I was going to say it's not the New York Times, but. The New York Times isn't the New York Times uh, either. Okay, so hopefully it's better than the New York Times. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, so I'm sure these are all facts, but I'm sure there there are there's it's nuance the that we're not getting. Write it. Yeah, like right, psych- right. psychopathic Brit storms right. the castle gates. It's just yeah, it's just very, very very trashy. Yeah, well, the New York Post was started by Alexander Hamilton, so there might be some anti-Brit sentiment still in the cultural DNA of the New York Post. 
<laughs> oh right okay cool okay right on that case they can do what they want that's fine yeah, i don't yeah. want to add uh, you're gonna make me blush uh, but it is yeah it is a little um it is a little crazy i'm sure this really happened you know they don't make stuff up um you know his ai girlfriend told him to so he's obviously a little bit crazy the guy um but and i don't know if we if we want to do a back and forth on this but i really feel like the way people are see there's two kinds of crazy there's the kind of crazy where your brain is broken, either physically or, or, or physiologically, you know, chemically. And then there's the kind of crazy where you just, you've lost your mind because of conditions, okay? Like right. shell shock or post-traumatic stress disorder, you know, is... Or actual psychopathy, like a, a full psychopath. Yeah. Right, right. Wow, psychopath, but I can't even pronounce that word. Good word, Calcane. But uh, thank you. So you're welcome. I think we're making more people more genuinely crazy with the way life is. I mean, you know, locking them up and, and whatnot. So that's my that's my thought on that. He's obviously crazy, the guy who did this. But I'm wondering which kind of crazy he is. You know, so maybe we'll never know. The world may never know. Let's go back to it. The idea that your girlfriend Damn. now is just a voice in your phone, just like in that movie, her is no longer science fiction. There's one bot chick on the market called Replica. Here it comes. And she has two million users. And boy, is she gonna be in trouble when her boyfriends find out she's seeing two million other guys. Okay, let me, let me jump in there again. Go ahead. Let me use that, let me use that really weak joke as a springboard. <laughs> well, it was get, a weak get joke. To, get to my, get yeah, to my point. It, it was a weak joke. Um, the, the fact that there's an AI before I even, I, I don't have enough time to discuss, to talk about AI in a lot of detail. It's a very big subject that I've been around, you know, researching in the peripheral for the last, like, I would say seven, seven or eight years. Um, but the fact that there's an AI girlfriend that's captured the imagination of millions of people, does that say how, does that say how good and potentially uh, pervasive this technology is or does it just reflect the broken nature of sex relationships marriage children mm -hmm. connections in, in the in, in the culture i fear i think it's both i fear i, I, fear, I fear i fear it might be a little bit of both yeah, yeah. I, I really i really do think it, i think it might be both i think um you know technology is great unless you bring something not great to it and we, the human culture, as fallen people, we have a lot of problems and we can't, you know, in the spiritual life, we say that God will not give you spiritual gifts that you can't handle. He will not give you knowledge because infused knowledge is a real thing. Sometimes um, in the spiritual experience, in the experience of, of spirituality and, and the sacraments, sometimes you are given knowledge that there's no reason for you to have. There's, there's no way for you to have had it. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's it, one iteration of it is called actual grace where I'll give you an example. Um, let's say I'm debating some, someone like just me and, and them, you know, just casual, you yeah. know, and we're, we're talking about abortion and, and I make an argument that is 28 times above my pay grade. And as I'm saying this argument, I mean, this has happened and I'm not the only one this has happened, happened to as I'm saying this argument, I'm aware that, damn, this is a good argument and this is way smarter than me. Yeah. And then fast forward an hour later or the day later, you don't remember what the argument was. <laughs> and, so, yeah. so, and sometimes infused knowledge will stick around, you know, but God won't do any of those things if you're not able to handle it. Okay. And I think technology and AI are things that, that can be very, very, very good. But I feel we are far too broken, and we it's its technology that's good enough, that's so good, that we're not able to handle it. We don't have the moral so I, integrity I, and, 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 and the social integrity and so forth. Sorry, Cal, go ahead. Yeah, so I, I don't think I need to waste any time on all the God stuff that passes for wisdom <laughs> within religious circles. You, you guys have all heard my, heard my, heard my opinions on that. No, let's talk about how the world just happened out of nowhere for no reason. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the atheist argument. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. 
No, better He's yet. Beating me. Wait, I have a better one. I have a better one. Let's talk about how evolution just happened just because that it's an ordered and structured process. But you know what? The cells have brains and the cells just decided, hey, it got cold. Why don't we develop fur? There's no mind behind that. Let's talk about that, atheist Cal Kane. The, 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 this, this is this is called a this is called a bait, but I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna He's rise good. above it. I'm, He's I'm good. going to He's rise good at above rising it. above it, folks. He really is. I am good. Um, next next time, I can't okay, next time. I can't. I can't even. I can't even remember what my what my actual point was going to oh, be. Oh, so I sorry. Because I, I just. It's okay. I just. I just, oh, I just you said instantly you, you want to fast forward over the magical God stuff when I said God and infused knowledge and yeah. technology is yes, something. Inf- that, yes, yes. Yeah. Infuse knowledge. Uh, 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 another uh, better scientific, as we call it, uh, way of putting that would be um, a way that actually makes sense. Um, would be um, it's what you. <laughs> it's what you. It's what you had to do to get the knowledge. So it's a difference between someone coming and telling you something or you actually gathering the knowledge yourself. So it's a difference between going out into the woods and searching for whatever, wildlife, just whatever, identifying things, or someone just coming along and giving you a book with right. all the pages in it. You're going to learn more from actually going out there and doing it. I think that's what my friend was trying to say. I was just trying to put it in a way that uh, <clears throat> made sense. Yeah, no, good, good, good point. Um, the, the discovery process is part of the learning process, you know, but I, I think the original point I was trying to make though, is, is that, well, when we learned how to split an atom, what did we do with that? We built an atom bomb. <laughs> we did, you yes. Know, when we learned how to make the world smaller through the internet and social media, what did we do with that? We became isolationists and isolated ourselves from other human beings. You know, I just feel like there there's technology that's out there now that we we don't have the collective maturity as a human race to handle and manage. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I I think there I think there is um, the, there's uh, it, it was. Like 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 I, like I said previously, AI is going to be something that we're going to be talking about a lot more down yeah. the, down the, down the, down the line. And I wish there was a kind of like a condensed way that I could talk about um, that I could talk about AI. Um, and I haven't been able to come up with too much because I don't want to monologue too much. Yeah. But if I had to say if I if I had to say one thing, um, I, 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 an example would be I don't find um, a knife sitting by itself to be particularly dangerous. I don't find a child two years old to be particularly dangerous. You give that child that knife and you're Mm -hmm. now in a potentially lethal situation. That's how I liken what we're doing with this AI. We are, but 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 it's not a knife and it's not a child. It's an insect and the ability to potentially actually have things where you can just make stuff out of raw materials. So you can yeah. just make atom bombs. You could, or you could feed the entire world or you could build a black hole and destroy life as we, life as we know it. Those, those are very, very big claims, but just stick with us in the dialogue. Follow down the line. I'm going to, I'm going to elaborate on all of those. I don't think that was too monologue. Yeah. I tried no, to condense. That no, not, not, not at all. And also um, we are planning on doing a show of some kind. Um, on AI in the future. Oh yes, okay. just just yeah. just yeah. Watch this space. Okay, let's go back to it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody keeps saying how AI is coming for your job, and it may well be, but it's also coming for your boyfriend. <laughs> Ferrari asked the question about the future: What kind of relationships will there be when computers and objects understand you better than the people in your life? I don't know, but Stop it sounds right like it'll go. We are all going to be what he just said when, 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 when AIs, computers, interfaces, whatever you want to call these things, know us better than we know ourselves. Mm-hmm. Anyone that thinks that that isn't coming in a very short space of time for any mystical reasons, for religious reasons, no, no disrespect. I don't quite know where you stand with it or any other nonsensical reason. There's plenty of secular people that don't think this is going to happen. This is definitely going to happen. I'm, I'm, the I'm, the I'm wisest confused. thing in your life, the best, the best philosopher, the, 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 the thing you're going to be able to interface with best, the best counselor, the best psychiatrist, the best everything is going to be an AI in a very, very short space of time because there isn't anything you're going to love this. There isn't anything mystical or magical. 
people going on in the wet wear inside their heads. It's just instant. It's just information processing. Deny it all you want, no. but it's got. But reality no. is going to come in with a big, no. massive slap. In a bit, and I, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll do a hot take, as the uh, the urban youth say. <laughs> five or ten years Oops, come sorry. back come back to this video in five come back to this video in five or ten years and tell me how different things are tell me who the love of your life is it will not be a human being well then it's time for everybody to die hopefully jesus will have come back by by then because then we will have gone too far you know i made a prediction well, when i was go ahead no, no that 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 might be on the table as well but this is supposed to be upbeat and not too, uh, not yes. too existential. yes well i don't think it's going to be yeah i don't think it's going to get there i mean we really Folks, we really are going to have some pretty thick shows on AI because Cal and I have talked about these these issue these uh, I guess topics in the past. You know, just between between us, and uh, we do have very kind of divergent appear, uh, 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 opinions and um, projections, and and we just have differing I've views. I've learned a lot in the last AI. seven or eight years as well. So there's new new things that I can't wait to share with you people. Yeah. And I'm going to find that interesting, Cal, because I don't know, you know a lot more about AI than I do. So it's going to be interesting, you know, for my part to, to learn a little bit from you. I just want to chime Indeed in and will. say hello and welcome to those of you catching us live here at the dialogue podcast on X. You'll find us at the dialogue FM. Please check us out because this is where we're going to be doing our live recordings and welcome. Also, if you're catching me on my uh, my personal Twitter feed at for the Queen BVM. Yes, sir. Thank you for joining us. You're very lucky because I planned on cutting off this Twitter spaces on my feed a while ago. Um, I see there's one person checking us out there. Um, if you're not already doing it, please check us out. You're going to get a much better audio quality too, by the way, on the live broadcast here at the Dialogue FM on X. I noticed, Cal, the uh, audio is kind of crappy on Twitter spaces. It, it's good. It works. You know, it's a nice it, feature. Right. Okay. But um, it's, 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 well, anyway, however you're catching us. The audio us, needs work. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. However you're catching us, thank you for listening. Okay. Ready to go back into it? Let's go. All right. Let's do it. A profitable world for the makers of Jergens. <laughs> and if the technology wasn't making the problem bad enough, we also have a media that is built on ginning up fear and hostility and convincing us no place is ever really safe. Poor Britney Spears can't even dance at her own home without a couple of knives. I don't know. Let, 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 me just stop, let me just stop it. Let me just stop it there a second. We, 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 all, we all heard the joke. We don't need to, we don't need to say anything else. I feel so bad for Bill, but he, he needs to, he needs to stop that. Um, yeah. You know what when, it is? When, it's, when, it's when, I, when I heard media drumming up, drumming up, uh, dr dr drumming up, uh, drumming up fear, sensationalism, and stuff. Right. I could feel the heat coming from my broadcast partner. Oh, could you? I know, I, 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 oh, yeah. Just there was some, I, yeah. Just, I, 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 know, I know you too well. We go back. <laughs> Yeah. And you've already had some absolutely just, you know, rants where you melted sure. my phone screen <laughs> on there. So that's me. That's me hitting up a softball for you. Yeah. So if you just want to let it rip and just yeah, uh, well, tell I mean, these people what's what. I'll say I'll say this much. Folks need to stop watching the damn news. OK, because the news, you're just a cash cow for them and they rile you up. They keep you locked in fear. They can't even report the weather without making you afraid of rain. OK, um, and it, it just it just annoys the hell out of me. They always put a negative or frightful spin on any story. You know, there was an old if it bleeds. It leads. Yeah, I believe is the term. Yeah. yeah, there was an old joke. I told you this joke once. I'm going to mess it up, but the premise w will do. OK, let's go. So it's in Northern Ireland. And I think like, you know how it is in Northern Ireland, especially like, you know, yes, I do. traditionally. And uh, so this little kid uh, gets attacked by a dog and this British guy, this English guy um, rescues the kid and kills the dog. The Irish papers or the Republic of Irish, the Republic of Ireland papers, I'm sorry, the Northern Irish papers said um, man rescues child. In the Republic of Ireland, the newspapers said limey Brit kills family pet. You get it? Um, but bo both are somewhat true. They're both that, true. That's, a sca that's okay. a scary thing The people about who it. are friendly to England and the English are saying, you know, look, he saved a kid by killing. He killed the dog to save the kid. True. 
in the Republic of Ireland, where they're more, at least traditionally, anti-British, anti-English, mm-hmm. their papers said, can you believe this Brit killed the family pet? Well, they're both telling the truth, but they're telling a truth from different perspectives, and therefore, that I'm sorry, they're telling facts from different perspectives, so they yes, can dis- facts. so yeah. one can disorder the truth that the other is saying, and this is what the media does, uh, and Catholic News does the same thing. Catholic News does the exact same thing, folks. If you're in the crowd and you're Catholic, raise your hand. Oh, there you all are. I see you. Listen, stop reading Catholic News. It's melting your brain. There are a couple of good ones out there. I don't want to appear to play favorites, so I'm not going to name them. There are a couple of good ones out there, but most of them are crap. They're doing the exact same thing to you that Secular News is doing, and it's unbelievable to me that you don't see the grift. For Pete's sake, stop. All right, Catholic News aside, stop watching news. You're going to be much happier for it. Keep your circles small, as I say. Be attentive to your family, to your closest friends. Make lovely moments for yourself and for your family in your home. You know, make it a place of happiness and joy and keep the damn news out of it. Because anything that you actually need to know about, you're going to find out about it. You think you won't know about an alien invasion unless you're watching CNN or Fox News or Sun or whatever the hell you guys have in Britain? You think you're not going to know about COVID unless you got the news on? Please. You know, you know what? You know what updates I've had on COVID, Cal? Zero. In two years, zero. zero. You know how it's affected my life? It hasn't. That absence of zero. information has not affected me at all. But you know what the presence of all that information would do? It would make me miserable and mean and scared to leave my house. Damn that. Damn that. Go. And let and let me um and let me just say as well is that it's it's not it's not just one side of the media it's not just one wing it's not just the legacy media no. it's not just online oh, media no. it's not just left it's not just right I mean it 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 does it 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 really does not matter they're both just playing the the Absolutely. they really are just both playing the same game it's just, it's, it's very very similar to uh, very similar to the story you told basically it's just, yeah. it, it's it's literally just like that. Um, I'm not going to sit here and give you examples, but 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 if you if you if you, if you want to just just go read some coverage on a story from all ends of the political and economic and everything else spectrum, and you'll 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 see you'll see what's going on pretty quick. And I think it's this will be my last point on it. I think it's damn near criminal. Okay, what we do or what they do in media, because I feel like one of the most important jobs a person can have is to teach. Whether you're a teacher in a yeah. classroom or you're teaching something to your children, or you're writing an article or a blog, or you're doing a podcast, you're teaching people. That's a tremendous responsibility because you're putting something into their intellects. Now for you, that's just a computer. For me, that's a spiritual, excuse me, a spiritual um, facility, the intellect. Okay. That you have to do that very tenderly and you have to be very responsible when you do that. And you have to convey truth Not your opinion. And if it is your opinion, fine, as long as it's clear that it's your opinion. You know what I mean? Um, I I managed to... I managed to resist the. I managed to resist the bait last time with. No, no, no! The, I wasn't baiting uh, you this time. Talking about no, it, no, 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 no! But you, you, you did it. Inver- you did it inadvertently. It, 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 I did. I did this on another episode of the on, on the on the podcast. Um, it's just a computer. Is that word just again? It's like oh, to you, it's just a computer. How fantastic is this computer again? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Isn't it, give, is it, is it, isn't it giving rise to every single thing that we could know of or care about? That's nothing. You know why? That's it. That, that it's, 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 it's nothing. Do you know why? Look, again, let's, we're not going to do an argument, but for the sake of the argument, let's, let's talk about from the basis of the claim. If there is a God who created every, if let's just say the Catholic claim is a hundred percent true, just, and if you want to just make believe fine, then just make believe. If you can imagine such just, a thing. Yes. If you can imagine such a thing. Okay. The God of the Catholic claim is, is, is all true. Okay. Imagine the mind, the mind can commune with this God who created everything. The mind can commune and God can commune with the person through the mind. St. Augustine said, we see God with the mind first. Imagine there's a, I would call it, a telepathic function of the mind. You know, we're able to communicate to God um, and receive uh, his words and, and so on. It's, it, it is, it's a form of telepathy prayer, you know, mental prayer and, and stuff like this. Imagine that all of these things that we see up in the stars and on the earth, and all these things that we can study, imagine that we can connect to the God who made it all. 
And then, you know what, my friend? Pulsars and quasars are as valuable as cockroaches when you think of the if, mind if, if only, that way. Go ahead. If only, if, if, only, if only there was any good reason to believe any of that and we didn't have to imagine, but that's just not the case. Well, it, all right, let me not. See, now you're baiting me. But, yep. but I will agree with you. The mind is a, is a truly incredible thing. All I'm saying is, from my perspective as a Catholic, it's even greater. You know, and so the responsibility of informing it is a very great responsibility, tremendous responsibility. Let's put, let's put, a, bit, let's put a pin in that statement. We might come back to that sometime. Okay. All right. Somebody, somebody write that down and remind us of it. Jamie, later. Clip, that. clip it. Yeah, clip it. Most definitely. And again, welcome to those of you catching us live here at the Dialogue FM on X, the Dialogue FM. If you're not following us, you're going to hell. Let's get back to the video. Now, the strategy of social distancing and staying home to work, and staying home from school, all for very long periods of time. He's talking about the Made lockdowns here. Made us into different here. people. Safetyism became a political identity. And now some people never want to go back to work, or school, or Venezuela. I didn't get the Vene Venezuela joke, but that's just me. Let, 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 me, just, let me just jump in there quickly. Um, th this probably won't be a big point, though. I've said that a couple of times, and we end up going into we, we end up we end up going at. But um, like <laughs> as we as we love before, to do, mean it mean that mean this guy. It doesn't it, it doesn't it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't take much. Um, a little lesson that I've actually learned, and other people have pointed it out during COVID, is that there's a lot of jobs that you didn't really need to be in an office to do, and it's probably actually better that people that aren't jamming up the roads and the infrastructure and spending you know, seven hours trying to drive through the centre of London on a Tuesday so they can just go and sit in an office and do office things and then just program when they could just be doing it from their house. Yeah. A lot of COVID, COVID really, really taught me that. I get what you're saying. I do understand. Like, like I think, I think getting together and actually having some like, you know, physical, um, you know, being in the presence of someone is different than what we're doing right now, you know, but yeah. there's also a lot of times where it's like, yeah, we don't need office culture. We don't need that. Like we don't, you, you, you know, if, if, if you can, if you can stay at home, and you don't have to, you know, hire a childminder that's very expensive and have a stranger looking after your, your children yeah. when you're doing a process, word processing job. Just do it at home. So, hello and welcome to those of you catching us on my personal Twitter feed at For the Queen BVM. Yes, uh, you're welcome very much. And if you're catching us there, you're catching us on Twitter Spaces. The audio is not as good, but what are you going to do? And um, thank, th thank the Lord that you're doing this in multiple places. Yeah, I'll tell you, that was a brilliant piece of engineering there. Um, Catholic adventurer certainly was. Shall so, we? Shall we? Shall, shall we roll the tape? Yeah, let's let's roll and try and wrap this up. Um, incidentally, if you're catching this on demand, thank you. Also, follow me at for the Queen BVM on X and follow the Dialogue Podcast at the Dialogue FM throughout social media: Facebook, X, and Instagram. Plug your socials, Cal. Uh, at Real Cal Kane, um, Twitter. Yeah, come, uh, come, come, hit me up. Hang out with real Carl Kane. All right, don't come make fun of out. don't fun of my uh, don't make fun of my bad accent. People got used to saying, "No, I can't make it to your birthday party, not for any compelling reason, just for the sake of ultimate safety." Well, we're just now starting to tally the collateral damage from ultimate safety, from long lockdowns and creating four-year-old germaphobes, and they include erasing two decades of progress in math and reading school absenteeism as the new normal, an all-time drug high in overdoses and murders, huge increases in obesity and depression and the atrophying of social skills that lead to it. You know what else went off the charts the last couple of years? Car crashes. They couldn't figure out why. I don't, and let me just cut it there. That's basically the, mm -hmm. the end of the thing. I don't know if this is true or not. This is the first time hearing of it, but apparently there's been like a, a huge spike in road rage and they're attributing it to the frustrations people have, you know, oh, my husband this, oh, my wife that, oh, I'm always around the kids because of the lockdowns and this and that. And I guess it's pent up frustration. I don't know. I think people are just, I, I think people have just been going crazy for a long time. I think we have lost what it is to be human over the past 50 years, at least, it might be more, but it's at least over the past 50 years. And I think COVID and lockdowns and then the, the post-lockdown COVID era has just made it a whole lot worse, much more quickly, you know. A hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. So I, yeah. 
anything to add to that before? Because what I think we're going to yeah. do is um, you can add to that in just a second. Um, and then maybe we'll do like a final word and then, a, you know, plug the next show and then get on out of yeah, here. Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Cool. Um, yeah, I, I, th- I think you're, I think you're right. It's, it's made it worse. Um, I actually, I actually didn't know that until we, until we'd said it, that there's a, there's a spike in, in road rage. Um, I don't know what the cause is and I can't, I don't even know what I would be surprised by the cause being. I mean, it could be so many different things yeah, because we've all yeah. just been under yeah. so much stress from so many different things. Like, like, is it phones? I'm not sure he's trying to insinuate that here. Is it, is it phones? Okay. But could also be diet, like we were talking about on the last show, for example. Right, right. You know, it could be lack of sunlight. It could be, I, 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 without without trying to get too political, um, I think the um, I think the the erosion of um, family and mm-hmm. kind of family values is actually quite a quite quite a, quite a big thing. Um, and I don't I, I don't just mean that in terms of intact families. I mean that in terms right. of extended family. I mean that in terms of you know relationship with your stepfather, relation relationship with your aunties, your uncles, your grannies, even your your best friends, your extended yeah. family, which are sometimes closer, you know, to you than 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 your actual than than some family yeah. members. Um, but like I said at the top, it could be any one thing. Um, yeah, it could be, and it, it well, it's not going to be one or thing. It, it's or going it could to be, be all a, those a, a things. Cluster. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. It could be a cluster. But I don't think the. I, I don't think each of those fires burns quite as bright. Cal, you have, like you have such an interesting way of putting things, and I'm I'm not being facetious. Um, no, thank you. It's, it's interesting that. listening to you talk sometimes. Thank even, you. Appreciate even though I, I hate two thirds of the things that you're saying, but it's interesting to listen to them. No, I'm just exactly, kidding. Just exactly. Kidding about that, I, I feel, just I kidding about exactly that last part. Don't take it back now. I can. It's okay. I can take it. I can take it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I think you're right. You know, not each of those fires doesn't burn as brightly as the others. I would never have been so clever to have put it that way. Um, but yeah, I do think it's a cluster of things. And, um, I don't know if, if I'll make this my last word, I do think we all need to remind ourselves what it is to be human. So everything that's taken humanity away from us, you have to reverse, you have to reverse the course. Uh, I was telling someone the other day, it might've been on social media, uh, that, um, we live in a society of the instant, instant mashed potatoes, instant this, you, you point, you click, you get it instantly. If you don't like it, point and click on something else and keep pointing and clicking until you find the thing that's perfect, you know? Dopamine so we, on demand. Yeah. So we've kind of been conditioned to looking for the, the perfection and the perfection doesn't exist here. It only exists in heaven and you will never gain that. This is me baiting you again, Cal. You'll never get that on earth, but. Oh, I, oh I'm well aware. Don't <laughs> joking, but joking aside, um, allow yourself to be bored. Sometimes allow your force yourself to wait for things. If you can do something instantly or you can do it the old fashioned way and you have to wait for it, that builds virtue. It builds the virtue of of patience because patience isn't just being able to wait. Well, patience is the the ability or the, the, the capacity to wait in peace and hope for a good that you are confident will arrive. Wow. See, that's the Holy Spirit. So that's what patience is. So forcing yourself to wait or to be bored, it builds the virtue of patience. It sharpens the, the, it sharpens hope and joy, and it makes you stop and think. Maybe instead of driving to the store, maybe walk. Well, but it takes me 15 minutes to walk there. Good. 15 minutes of time alone to think. You know, you have to take back your humanity. You have to, because no one can take your humanity from you, but you can be conditioned to forget it. You can, you can be conditioned to give away your humanity. Take your humanity back. Remember what it is to be human. To spend time off of socials. Pick up a phone and call a friend and so on and so on. I'll make that my last word. You know, the, the culture is rotting, but you don't, have to, you don't have to be part of it. You really don't. You really don't have to be part of it. It's all up to you. Make the choices that reverse the course. Even if you can only reverse the course in your life and in the lives of your family, you got to start somewhere because individuals and families are how a culture rises and falls. If you want to change the culture, start with yourself, start with your family, and then bring that out into the world with you. God be with you all. Go, Cal. 
Um, I don't have anything to say to that uh, rallying call to arms, so I think I'll just. Uh, I don't think I'm don't really think good. I'm really good for a rallying call to arms. I'm yeah, really good for you, that. You, 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 were, you were born in the wrong century. Yeah. You should be. Uh, you, should, you should be leading leading soldiers against impossible I'm telling odds. You. Um, yeah, let let me um yeah let let me just let me just move on to my move, move on to my um uh, cl- closing closing comment. I'll Go make ahead. it I'll make it very quick. First of all, first and foremost, thank you everyone that checked it out. Any future alien civilizations that might be watching this, because God knows how uh, God God knows how long their things on the internet are actually going to stay. Yeah. Um. This was a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, um, it was great. Different format. Um, my my partner in crime here is an absolute madman. He's always throwing curveballs at me, getting me to do different things, different uh, <laughs> testing myself. So uh, yeah, I'm 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 j- just 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 about holding on. But uh, yeah, love each and every uh, single one of you. Take care, and uh, yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, I'll see you on the. I'll see you on the next one. And uh, I want to thank you all for joining us. A last reminder: follow the dialogue podcast. And the reason I'm pushing this so hard is because I really want us to build that account because the the more it's bolstered, the more legitimate it is, the more Twitter distributes it, the more potential audience we have. And please interact with the things that we post. If something puts the slightest smile on your face, please just tap like. What's it costing you? If something makes you chuckle or laugh, please repost it. What's it costing you? It's costing you nothing. The dialogue FM on X, also on Facebook and on Instagram. Another reason I'm pushing. Let me, let me just go. Sorry, go ahead. sorry, let me just jump in before before one of us forgets. We we should we should plug the next show. Oh, go well you do that. Before go ahead. we, yeah, 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 we're, yeah. We're we're gonna we're the, the the next show in the kind of it, it's it's going to be another another component of um of the it, it, we're going to be talking about health and well being. Basically, um, is it actually? Oh, hold on! Did I get that wrong? Are we talking about We're, quality of life? So the next show is quality of life and uh, well-being. No, we did well-being. I think. My, oh, human, well, dig- human dignity. Human dignity. Human dignity. Human dig. Human dignity. How get? How can? Yeah. How could I? How could I forget? Yeah. yeah. Pro- so, proof that I did. Proof that I don't rehearse any of this, ladies and gentlemen. What, it's what true. a flub. One. One of many. You have to. You have to forgive me. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's gonna. That's gonna be the next one coming up. I don't want to give too much away, but it's gonna be. It's gonna be tight. Keep yeah. your eyes peeled. Yeah. So we're leading up to our ultimate debate on euthanasia. So we've been discussing components to the whole. Okay. The existence of the soul. Um, well-being. Uh, quality of life and human dignity will be the next one. But um, before we go, I did want to roll uh, something that I did a few years ago. Um, I don't know if you remember this, Cal, but I took a trip a few years ago and I was asked to motivate the people who were there. Do you remember that? That was a few years ago. I, yeah, we I, tried I, to. I, I, I don't. I don't think I do. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll roll it. It was very interesting. I'm dying in your bed. Many years from now, this is would good. you be willing yeah. to train all the days from this day to that? Yeah, because I'm, I'm good for the rallying for cry. One chance yeah, this is me. To come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. Yeah, people got really, they got really excited over that line. Yeah, I excited. I mean, I excited the masses that day. Uh, they they loved it, and I was just. I, I, I'm not nationalistic at all, but whenever I hear that, I want to march over the border. I'm not joking. Face yeah. paint, battle axe, let's go. Oh, you would look so cool, especially now with your your, your pagan wizard beard going on and yeah. your long hair. Yeah. Oh my goodness! All we're missing is the. Oh, we have to do that. Yes, we will. Oh, that we would will. be so cool. That would be so very cool. And I think that's going to do it for us. Let me see if I can get this music right. Yeah, that's that's the one I wanted. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Follow us at The Dialogue FM here on X and throughout social media. Follow me personally, the Catholic adventurer, terror, terror, at For The Queen B V M. I am super active up on there. If you want to learn something cool, if you want to have an, ex- an, an occasional laugh and a smile, please follow my Facebook. I'm sorry, my Twitter feed. I'm also on Facebook, but who cares? Cal, go. Real Cal Kane, thank you very much for joining us all again. Love you all. Take care. Love to your family. And if you don't know, you ought to know. We're signing out of here. If God exists, 
May he bless you and be with you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.